What is going on YouTube? Fishhook Terry here. Thanks for watching another video. I'm out here with my coffee. Got the duck and swan party going on. You can see all these guys out here. And if you notice something different between the last videos, we've got ice. It sucks. So last time I was out, got the little bass buggy, got skunked, nothing happened. Um, it was kind of warm weather, like in the 40s and 50s, and then it turned real Michigan crappy. Um, we got about a foot of snow here, and it got real cold, so we got all this ice. The ducks love it, because this really kind of stays open in our area. It's We got like a flow that comes through here. We're part of a, a river system, so this stays open. Unfortunately, the main lake out there does get real frozen and thick. Um, but it's probably only a few inches thick at the moment, but I would have had some other videos come to you guys the last week or so. However, uh, little dude Fishhook Jr. being new to daycare gets sick constantly. Um, if you guys have kids, you know daycares are just a, a germ city. It's just nasty. It's gross. Um, he's been sick a lot uh, this winter, unfortunately, and then of course he comes home and gets uh, mama fish hook and me sick so I was gonna do this unboxing video last week he got me really sick last week so I wasn't gonna put you guys through that and I really didn't want to shoot anything I looked like hell uh, I still kind of feel not that great but a little better so I can drink my coffee and you know finally get outside because I was really cooped up in the house it sucked it was miserable he's feeling better I'm feeling better mom's feeling better hey it's awesome. Let's do some videos. Let's do some unboxings. Let's get some content back out to you guys. I didn't forget about you. Hope you guys like this one. This is the Fishing the Midwest, the Rigged Rod, my favorite fishing unboxing. Let's freaking do it. All right. Here's what you really came to see. This being unboxed. Let's open it. Now, I've been sitting on this for a few days now, and I've just been itching to get in here now that I feel better. We can show off what's in this awesome blue tube from Favorite Fishing. I know that's what you guys really want to see. So let's crack her open. I'm really excited for this. So I've been thinking for months now, like when is John B's rod going to come out? Because everybody else, you know, AP and Flare and Lunkers, everybody else has their rod. And it was like, okay, so John's really, you know, the, the big guy out there. He's got the biggest following, I feel like anyway. And like, when is he going to have a signature rod? And when I first saw this thing, I was like, all right, this is going to be sick. You know, it, they took some time to, you know, go through what John likes to fish with, kind of his style, and really put together a great rod for that. And I knew this would be awesome. All right. Here we go. Oh, and we have some goodies. So first off, let's put the rod down a, a hot second. Here's your boy, John B's autograph. Keep fishing, never stop. That's pretty sick, awesome, John B rules. Here we go, more goodies, keep fishing, never stop. The Fishing Midwest logo, we'll put that on right now. The wristband, and the autograph came with a Black Friday promotion from Favorite. Woo, baby. Here it is. It's that rigged rod.
know your boy John B made this rod this is freaking awesome I love the red accents you, know, you see the little touches here this is a part of the Phantom series from favorite and so a little bit about the Phantom series itself these rods have a really great backbone to them they're a real sensitive rod and they have a fast action to them if like a fast action tip what's nice about these rods and I will link up my Phantom spinning rod review below if you haven't watched that yet I feel that these rods are a great all-purpose all-around rod and the reason why I say that is because the way that they build these rods they have a couple different systems at favorite to build these rods and they have what they call their MLS their multi-layering structure technology that really gives us a rigid strong backbone so you can horse fish you know that the rod is gonna hold up under pressure when you've got you know a big fish on it's gonna take care of you it's not gonna break and then it also has its FX grid technology as well and I don't think you can really see it in this light I apologize but up close this rod here in the blank is got like an X pattern grid to it and that's with the carbon to really give this a a rigid strong backbone again to this rod so this thing is going to hold up day in day out whatever you're gonna throw at it just don't drop it and break it or snap the tip off but these rods have tremendous backbone with a real fast tip and I, I like that style of rod I like the medium heavy rods I like a seven foot rod um, I might even have went with maybe just like a 610 um, or a 69 foot rod if they would have made it they don't uh, I went with the seven foot and I know there's one longer than this one but I feel that the seven foot rod is gonna be a great rod that I can take with me anywhere and I can really throw any lure on this rod to some extent and be able to fish comfortably and be able to get fish in the boat having a rod that is a medium heavy and I'm sure you guys watch a lot of John B's videos just like I do he throws a lot of different stuff um, he gets into a lot of like challenge type uh, style videos and of course he throws a lot of jigs I, I feel that these rods are going to allow you to really be able to throw anything in your tackle box on this rod with reason again no one's gonna throw a 8 inch HUD on this but you are able to throw you know jigs and crankbaits and spinnerbaits chatterbaits um, really your standard arsenal up to a one ounce and you might be able to get away with a little bigger but I mean because this is a stout rod but I know I feel if you went with like a three quarter ounce jig or you know a half ounce chatterbaits with a trailer this rod is gonna handle great you know square bill crankbaits a lot of your arsenal is gonna be able to be thrown on this rod and what that really does for you then is you can buy one rod and know that you don't have to buy like a specialty rod you know you don't have to go out and buy just a crankbait rod I mean sure you can and I've got a bunch of rods too don't get me wrong but I I do like having a rod that I can pick up and know that I can tie really anything onto it and get fishing and catch fish and it's gonna work great it's gonna hold up well I mean that's what I really like and I think that these phantom rods from favorite fishing this rig series from them is an incredible value it's going to allow you to really get one rod and go knock out some awesome fishing with it you got to check these out and some of the sick features of the rig series of course it says rig right there it's got the red accents I really love this real seat here and what's nice about this if you see I mean you have like the trigger but then the blank is exposed and what that allows so when your your hand is in here with this rod you got your reel on here and when you get a bite that bite is going to transmit through the line down the rod onto this blank and you're going to be able to feel that because your fingers are connected to the rod the the lock here for where the reel goes looks sick 
just the, the sweet touches of this rod, the way that these guides are seated and the, the Fuji guides that come on this rod. This is all real quality material. Like I said, I've been a fan of a favorite for some time now. You know, I do work with those guys, but there's a reason. I want, when I go in with a company, I wanna make sure that, again, I get the best bang for my buck, the best value, and the, the best quality. Because there's an old saying out there, I use it all the time, it really applies in fishing, is cheap ain't good and good ain't cheap. And I really believe in that. I mean, I've been fishing my whole life, and I've bought a lot of cheap crap over the years, and the cheap stuff breaks. It really does. It breaks down, it doesn't hold up, especially when you need it. Um, I mean, that's the big thing. You know, if I'm out on the water, I'm fishing by myself, or I'm fishing with a buddy, and things break down, and then you don't have any other rods to work with, you know, guides get bent or gnarly, you know, uh, real seats come undone and all this kind of stuff, you know, that's, that's terrible. And you don't want to be putting yourself in that position because you went cheap on the equipment. Um, I really feel that quality equipment, when you spend the little extra money, is going to go much further for you. Because I know like this rod, for instance, this rod is going to last me for years and years. It's going to put hundreds of hours of fishing on this rod, and I know it's going to last every time. If by some means something happens to this rod, if I break it or snap it or something crazy happens, I know that Favorite's going to take care of it because Favorite has amazing warranties on their equipment. Their customer service is top notch. You can always get somebody either like on the phone or on social media to take care of you. They listen, they understand, they know what anglers want. They work with the top anglers like Fishing Midwest and Lunkers and all those guys. I mean, they are on the scene. They know what's going on. They're hip to, you know, the, the new angler and they put out sick equipment like this that is going to get more young people into fishing and be able to get those young people to have a value branded equipment that is going to last for years. I'm really sad that it's nasty and raining and ice and whatever else mess outside, but this thing is going to be awesome in the springtime. And if if things actually open up here soon with the water and if I can actually get out to the main lake, I will put this through its paces. There's a few lures I would like to test out, see if I might be able to catch a nice bass still this year. Um, and the way it's raining and it's warm, I might be able to get out to the main lake here soon. Cross your fingers. And maybe be able to put this to the test on a little bass buggy. But either way, this thing is awesome. I think you guys should check it out, especially if you're a fan of Fishing the Midwest and John B. You're going to love this rod. And if you fish a lot of the techniques that he fishes, you're really going to love this rod. I think the qualities here, this rod is going to be a tremendous offering to anybody's lineup. You've got to go check these guys out. The Phantom Series by Favorite Rigged Series John B. Edition. Go give them a look. Thanks as always guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of the Rigged Rod from Favorite Fishing. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll have more unboxing content as it's crummy outside for the winter to give you guys something cool to watch. Bishop Terry Sam, peace out. Talk to you guys later. Deuces.